I'm no like marine biologist, but I'm gonna go with the shark on this one. Yeah. Speaking of sharks, though, no, uh, you like that? Um, <laughs> no, I'm just messing around, guys. Sorry. Uh, so let me just update the scoreboard here in one second. And as I was saying, sharks, man, they appear in the bottom right-hand corner of this map. Playing from Revolution, it is Shakchi. And his opponent, the Blue Zerg from Psystorm, it is Jon Snow. Oh man, again, I, I'm really excited about this match, dude. We finally right. have a Zerg player too, so I'm pretty excited about that too. We'll have to see. Um, hopefully he can uh, <laughs> do a bit better better than the last one and get this win for his team so we can get more games. I want to see the entire map pool played by these guys. This, that would be insane. Yeah, that would be really nuts, oh. man. Uh, so we do see a proxy <laughs> hatch coming out of Jon Snow immediately goes for the craziness. Oh man, that's awesome. Is he gonna, you think he's going to be able to take down Jaxi with that, man? I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I've seen some really, really good proxies, but on this map pool, I haven't seen too many just yet because of how new it is, but I don't know. That's a pretty good place to do it. We saw some insane proxies there yesterday, but it was Cyclones and shit, not a proxy hatch. Oh, and the scout's yeah. going to come nowhere near it either, man. Maybe I, uh... as soon as he gets to that natural, he'll just have that pro sense and know immediately that there's something up, but I, I mean, I don't know, man. This is nuts. Yep, absolutely. I feel like this is kind of like what we were talking about yesterday with the blue players on Abyssal. Like, the proxy hatch is even, like, colored blue, so it hides into the map even <laughs> yeah. more, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, But, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. And I, I think you're right. Jaxi is a good enough player to get into this natural and know, hey, something's going on here. At least, at very, very least, it's early pressure. Um, <clears throat> oh, we found the shark again. Nice. Nice, man. I'm glad we could find this shark. I was looking for him yesterday, and I couldn't because it's not where the shadow is. It's in a really, really weird position. But you guys are telling me that's a dolphin? Come on. Like, let's get real here. Before this game kicks off, I think we can appreciate that that's a shark and not a dolphin. But anyway, I guess that's neither here nor there. Uh, so Jack G is going to find out that there is no natural. And hopefully he's got to know that something's up. Uh, he is sending out these Marines to kind of look. Yeah, he knows something's up. But, but it, the question is, is he going to find about out, find out about it in time to do something about it? So uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, Bunker going down from him in the factory is just about three quarters of the way done, too. He hasn't yeah. found out about the hatchery yet. Queen is about halfway done from Jon Snow as the links start to make their way across the map uh the way things are shaping up now i think john snow might have a decent shot at knock or er, pestering this command center yeah uh the natural but i'm not sure if he's going to be able to break up into uh jack G's base with what he has currently as two bunkers are going down yeah and i'd imagine he's going for that really early tank if he can get a tank up on that high ground he should be all right but as you said that natural is pretty exposed dude this bunker is going to be a saving grace so he's going to poke over there confirm his already sinking suspicions that it is a proxy but there's already roaches out man like i i don't know that tank is needs to be done a long time ago in order for him to hold this we'll have to see so he's pulled a couple boys he's gonna wall up behind this and, and just try to hold at this point he does have the double bunker which is nice and he has his scvs already pulled to uh repair but man what a crazy game already yeah for sure johnson's really gonna have to find good damage to be able to do uh to be able to break these bunkers with the repair here as he does have a, a small number of ravagers and roaches but it's not going to be able to get up there right now yeah, yeah. once the tank comes out that's really going to be key in shutting a lot of this down yep. i think jackie should be okay as he's able to lift and turn his his natural into a uh a uh, orbital command yeah absolutely i mean he knew something was up and he responded perfectly sure he doesn't have his natural up and running yet but neither does john snow so he'll be all right there and now that he has that tank out on the high ground he's doing really well and he's about to push out another one that will plant even further in front than that well okay maybe i'm speaking too soon yeah so he's gonna have two planted um really close up there i don't think how many bios do you need to break that i feel like we should know this but Oh god, you put me on the spot there. No, bro. I don't you know. Need seven? I don't, no, I'm yeah, not sure. I don't know, man. You but need a couple. Yeah, Definitely exactly. You need to wail on it. Yeah. Well, with all those SCVs right there, it's going to be a while before he can pull down that bunker. That's all I was getting at there. Especially with these tanks just wailing away at things once they get close to this wall. So, yep. So, more bunkers coming down and a second tank there from Jack G as he's really buttoning up the front of this base. Wants to make sure that no baneling bust or anything like that on top of these ravagers come in and uh <clears throat> He's got a starport coming out now too, so I'm really liking Jack T's position as he's just cool to you know chill at home and and sit on two command centers. Uh, as you said earlier, no base from Jon Snow, so that's yeah. really a huge factor there. Yeah, and now the tanks are getting to be almost the ridiculous. Well, I mean it's only three, but still that's enough. That's all you need. And yeah. that bunker just keeps taking a lot of damage. Well, we know it's at least five. 
We're about to find out live. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know, right? People are probably yeah, trashing us because we don't know this, but I don't know, man. Like, I'm not a pro. I'll be the first to admit it. I'm only a diamond player. I just love StarCraft. So I love to cast shit like this. Yep, absolutely, man. It's a cool opportunity, and we appreciate yeah. both teams for letting us get in on this as we watch Jon Snow do his best to attack this bunker. Yep, absolutely. Just being annoying. If anything else, though, what he's doing is keeping all these SCVs from mining, which is good enough in itself right there because he knows he's down in the economy. So. Ooh, oh, those tanks, though. micro there, yeah. Uh, and the other thing shots. that he's doing I was going to mention uh, is, yes, Jokshi does have his, you know, command center turned into an orbital, but Jon Snow is spreading mad creep into what would be his natural expansion and has his potential third creeped up, too. So Jokshi's yeah. going to have to wait. Even if he does clear this out, he's going to have to clear that creep and then wait for it to recede before he can really expand. Yeah, and I really do like this play out of Jack G where he's going with um, Cyclone Banshee. Or, wow, Cyclone. Jesus Christ. Uh, Cloaked oh. Banshees. Oh, shit. These tanks are just having their way with these Ravagers, man. Uh, oh, a tank does fall, though, but it's a plate, uh, replaced pretty much immediately with another one. Uh, but, yeah, I think these Cloaked Banshees should help out a lot pushing into this, as there's going to be no detection there for a while. Oop. A little, uh, oh, ooh, nice. nice. Trading some damage on one of the Ravagers and possibly one Ravager for a tank. Uh, that was a little bit better of a trade, but yeah, coming up into that choke right now is really just, uh, there's not too much damage to be found, man. Yeah, this is just ridiculous, man. I've never seen this build, so this is just insane. I guess I need to start watching Bly more if you're to believe chat. They're saying this is like a Bly variation, but this is crazy. Uh, they're saying Jon Snow's hits later than his, though. I don't know. It looks like it hit pretty, pretty good timed enough. We'll have to see how this Banshee comes out if it can find enough damage here, but it is keeping him contained, as you said. Yep, absolutely, and the creep spread is definitely good, but Jon Snow still does not have any extra expansions or anything like that, so he is 100% all in on this, <laughs> needs to find a way to break the tanks, and in all honesty, I just don't, I don't think it's going to happen, um, and Abyssal, they're just really, except for maybe that top right of Jockey's base, isn't a place to, like, be lifting, you know, loading overlords and flying things anywhere, oh, so. Oh, the Banshee is out, though, yep. man, and there's no detection, so it just gets to have its way now, and he knows that, so he decides to attack here, does Jon Snow. And just like that, he calls GG and, or, yeah, and Jock G will uh, take this game. Man, what an insane series.